everyone welcome back to another pick a card reading if we haven't met yet my name is naomi and i make videos on tarot and oracle card pick a card readings i also make videos on astrology and on personal development so today's timeless tarot pick a card reading is all about what is next in your finances and career so we are going to dive in and find out what you can look forward to in the near future in terms of your work, career, and finances. Now remember, anything can change at any time and you always have free will. So this reading is just based on the energy at play at this moment in time. If you are new to pick a card readings, here's how it works. This video is timeless, which means that whenever it is that you come across this video, I ask that the messages be accurate for you. And then the first thing that you wanna do is pick the pile or the crystal that you are the most intuitively drawn to. We have pile one here with the star spinner tarot and the Dalmatian Jasper crystal. We have pile two here with the Luna Soul Tarot deck and the Pyrite Crystal. We have pile three here with the Modern Witch Tarot deck and the Picasso Jasper. We have pile four here with the Light Seers Tarot and we have the Serpentine Crystal. If you need more time, please pause the video, but when you are ready, you can go to the description of this video, find the timestamp that is linked to your pile, and then skip ahead to your reading all about what's next in your finances and career. So I will see you on the inside. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Star Spinner Tarot, or the Dalmatian Jasper, then you are in the right spot. And I just have a real quick announcement. If you have been watching my readings and you want to go deeper, I do offer personal readings. These readings are perfect for you if you've been wanting to get a personalized reading that answers your specific question. The link to book a personal reading is in the description of this video. Now let's dive in to your pick a card on what's next in your finances and career. Okay, so the first card that I want to talk about here is the Eight of Coins or the Eight of Pentacles. So what's next for you in your finances is financial independence and profit. So the number eight symbolizes things like abundance and manifestation, karma. So I do feel like you're about to get some good karma. Um, and it also represents inner wisdom. So this is the card of having success in your career or work life. Um, some of you may also have a skill or a talent that's about to get rewarded. Um, maybe something that you've been putting the time and the work and the effort into for a while now. This is going to be a time when you are focused and dedicated and determined to master your craft, you know, whatever that looks like to you for your career and work but I really do feel like you're about to be rewarded for the determination and the effort that you've been putting into your work because yeah, your hard work is definitely going to pay off. I also get that the work that you do can have an emphasis on attention to detail and sometimes, you know, maybe it feels a little routine and repetitive, but your expertise is really going to be growing during this time. You're going to be laser focused in the zone and ready to get your head in the game. This is very similar to like when an athlete is walking out on game day, you know, walking into the arena, maybe they got their headphones on, uh, they're listening to some sort of music or something that gets them in the zone and, you know, just ready to get out of their head and into their body um, and really just get their head in the game. Um, you know, focus, focusing on getting that win. So anyway, I do feel like you're going to be working hard during this time and your efforts are going to be paying off for sure. So this is really going to be a time when you're focused on accomplishment. And yeah, I just feel like when you see all these clocks here, I'm thinking that all of the time that you've invested, it's really going to um, blossom into something greater than you even imagined. So this is kind of your sign to keep going, keep planting the seeds, keep, um, you know, working on mastering your craft because 
you know, with that dedication, you are going to see results. Absolutely. And then, you know, the next card that I want to dive into here is the lovers. So this could represent you entering a mutually beneficial business partnership or relationship as well. Maybe you could be teaming up with someone, collaborating or doing some work together um, with someone in a really special way. So, you know, things I think they're going to feel a lot more balanced at work. Maybe you're going to be like meeting people on the same wavelength, right? Um, this could also represent you having harmonious and loving relationships in your work environment. Maybe these friendships makes the time fly by because you guys are just having so much fun. I'm also getting that some of you are also going to be finding your soul family at work or within the work that you do. Um, maybe it's someone who ends up walking into your job. Um, for those of you who are single, this could also represent you developing a romance with someone as a result of the work that you do. Um, maybe it's a colleague or a classmate or, you know, an old coworker or um, someone who comes into your workplace often. But I feel like there is an important connection that is going to be made um, in terms of what's next with your finances and your career. So, yeah, and for some of you, I do also feel like there's a choice to be made in terms of your finances, like especially between two things. So I don't know if you work two jobs and one is taking off and you're going to need more time for that. So I don't know if you have to leave one job behind for another or, um, you know, this could look like so many different things. You could be making a choice between two different job offers. You could be making a choice between two different opportunities that can um, that can help you earn more money. Um, but I really do feel like good fortune is coming your way in terms of finances and career. Okay, and then the next card that we have here is the horse card. Um, and on the back of this card, it says run free. So I really do feel like what's next in your career and finances is an opportunity for you to foster more autonomy for yourself like i really do feel like you're gonna have more freedom in business and in your work and in finances so for example maybe more freedom in your work means that you're going to be working for yourself maybe you're going to be an independent contractor or you're going to be self-employed um you know if you are an employee and you like it that way um there's no shame in that that's awesome i actually enjoyed being an employee in a couple different settings and um, it was great. But anyway, okay. So you could be working for somebody else and, you know, you get to be the head of a new project that the company is, um, initiating and it, they kind of give you like, you know, the reins to just do as you will and have the creative freedom to create a really beautiful product or a really beautiful project. Um, I really do feel like, you are going to feel a lot <laughs> shaking the camera. Sorry. I really do feel like you're going to have a lot of freedom when it comes to your finances as well. I really feel like some of you in this pile have really been wanting to travel and maybe you kind of even feel trapped with where you're at right now. Um, or maybe you were feeling trapped in the past, but this is a sign that, um, more flow, more freedom is coming in your finances. And some of you may have the opportunity to, um, travel somewhere new. Maybe you're going to take just a simple road trip, go on a camping trip, um, something to expand your energy in some way. I really do feel that um, that's the case. And also when I look at the, the horse, to me, horses always symbolize, of course, freedom, but stability. So for those of you who have been looking for more stability in your financial situation, just know that that's to come. Um, remember that we also have to do our part so um, it has to be that nice balance between um, doing our part and then of course allowing ourselves to receive and trusting that the universe is going to um, you know connect all the dots that we've um, set out there but yeah 
Okay, and then the next card that we have here is the Mystic, and it says Key 2, or K2. Um, and the mantra on this card says, I am spiritually wealthy. And we have a bunch of words on the bottom of the card, and those are some words to describe your special talents or skills that'll help you in the area of your career and your finances. Um, but what I really want to mention first, Pile 1, is that you guys are highly, highly intuitive and more than you give yourself credit for. Like, I don't really know if maybe your intuitive abilities or your intuitive skills or what you intuit or kind of the insights that pop through for you. I don't know if it's something that you kind of keep to yourself or, you know, you're hesitant about sharing with others because if they're like, okay, well, how did you get that information? And you, you might feel kind of strange telling them that, okay, well, um, I received that information through like a prophetic dream or like I received that information through, um, you know, sign or synchronicity, like an angel number, repeating number, or like a butterfly, right? I think that um, this this whole community here on this channel is a really beautiful blend between the logical and the spiritual, um, the rational, analytical, and then of course the intuitive side. So, um, but I do feel like when you get the mystic card, it almost is like a reminder to honor the mysticism that is within you, um, to not hide your intuitive gifts and to not diminish or kind of push away some of the insights that you get. Um, I think that sometimes, you know, especially when we're younger, and I really do believe that you, you all were extremely intuitive when you were children too. Um, you know, maybe you tried to share these insights with your parents or your caregivers or a teacher or an adult or your peers, and you were laughed at or you were told that that wasn't true or, you know, maybe you were gaslighted and told your experience wasn't really what you experienced. Um, yeah, I just feel like it can make it, it can really um, put a damper on our ability to trust our intuitive gifts and to to use it as guidance. So this card is just a reminder to honor that intuitive side within you. Um, yeah, I feel like you really always can get a really good read on the room. I feel like you get a really good read on other people's energy and their intentions. Um, and I feel like you can tell when others are telling the truth or not, or like if they're saying one thing, but maybe doing another. Um, okay, and then I want to talk about the words that describe your special talents or skills that'll help you in the area of your career and finances next. So some words to describe your natural talents are spiritual, sensitive, unconventional, transcendent, intuitive, introverted, illuminating, artistic, ingenious, intense, imaginative, innovative, revolutionary, rebellious, and mysterious. Um, P.S. Are you guys Scorpios? Or <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, as I was reading all of those um, descriptions, I was, I was like, hmm, I know I've got some Scorpios in this pile, that's for sure. Whether that's, you know, in your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, or somewhere very significant in your um, birth chart, I feel big time Scorpio energy here. But okay. Um, also, the planetary energy represented here is K2, or K2, also known as the south node of the moon. Many people think this is an imaginary planet, um, but with this, you could actually have some luck in the following areas, as it has to do with your career and finances, because K2 or K2 represents things like mystery, um, things like spirituality, things like not being attached to worldly desires, wisdom, you know? having knowledge of the self, um, being a healer, you know, at heart, the healing arts, the natural arts. Um, I really do feel like a part of your career path is to be a channel for helping others kind of transcend their attachment to the material world. Um, kind of to remind them that they're a spiritual being here living in a physical body in the physical world and, and earth is a school and we're meant to learn lessons here and to have fun. Um, I also do feel like you're the type of person that's really drawn to search for the deeper meaning in life. Um, I'm really getting like big time light worker energy here. I really do feel like one of your purposes here is to illuminate others and to wake them up, to help them grow in consciousness and to help them experience true inner and outer freedom in their life. Um, because I do feel like you just have this very forward thinking, you know, 
visionary creative mind and you have this ability to invent and come up with unique solutions to really complex problems um and with that being said we have the last quarter moon in aries card it says work through your feelings um and with this what's also next in your career is it's going to be this opportunity for you to move through your feelings um, especially ones that feel highly charged um, and are related to feeling hurt or sad um, or like your feelings are being stepped all over i really do feel like you're going to be clearing the way like emotionally um so that you can work towards your goals and i'm not really sure if maybe like some of you went through a rough period at work or with your finances maybe something some sort of experience that really left you feeling stuck um, in survival mode just know you're going to move out of that rough phase um, the sun will rise again and i think that the best way to go about working through this processing and healing this is to first start with grace and compassion of course reach out to the appropriate support systems if needed um, but i really do feel like you're going to be releasing the hurt that you felt in the past so that you really can move forward and clear the way for new opportunities to come in i really do also feel like this is going to be a time of letting go and you know sometimes when we detach and loosen our grip the most beautiful things and circumstances end up flowing into our lives um so yeah this could be an opportunity for you to let go a bit and the last quarter moon in aries um, could be a significant time for you in your career and finances so this happens when um let's see when the sun is in cancer and um when the moon is in aries so this time is like the end of june through almost like the end of july so that could be a significant month for you in terms of finances and career um and yeah okay and then the next card that i have here is soul family so it says call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone Remember earlier when I was saying, I really do feel like you're going to find your soul family at work? Here's a confirmation. So, um, yeah, I really do feel like this next phase of your career in finances, it's really going to bring you in connection with more like-minded people, with people who are like sold as you, you know, your soul family. I really do feel like you're also going to be surrounding yourself with people who actually get you. So, um... I really do feel like you're going to be f feeling a lot more supported in your career and finances. This card um, can also represent you allowing yourself to receive help from others in the area of career and finances. So maybe that looks like hiring an assistant to help support you. Maybe it's you working on a team um, at work so that you can like work smarter, not harder, right? Or maybe it's being supported in surprising and magical ways financially, right? Um, this is also a reminder to let yourself be seen, um, to be yourself, to let your authentic self show. This is really how your soul family is going to recognize you and to find you. So yeah, I really just do feel like it's easier to find people that we deeply connect with when we're all just being ourselves to begin with. So yes, it looks like I forgot. I forgot to lay down a card. You got the horse card um, and it says freedom. And that's funny because this is a confirmation. You got a, another horse card to begin with when we talked about freedom. Um, but yeah, with the horse card here, um, I do feel like you're about to step into more independence at work and in your finances. I really do feel like you're also going to have the resources to provide for yourself and your loved ones, if that applies to you. Um, I really do feel like you're going to have more flexibility and freedom at work. Some of you, like this, like I mentioned before, you're going to find out that you'll eventually go on to work for yourself or be self-employed or an independent contractor in some way. Um, some of you are going to be picking up like a side hustle, maybe earning extra income. I had mentioned before that your travel fund, that could be looking very pretty for those of you who are wanting to save for travel. Um, and yeah, I want to think about um, the history between horses and humans. Like, I feel like their bond has always been very close, very similar to humans and dogs, humans and cats, right? So this could be representative of you. Um, this could represent you developing deeper bonds at work, making your work besties, like I had mentioned before. 
finding that one coworker that's really solid and you can rely on. Um, and horses, I always think of it too as like a big part of adventure, travel, you know, discovery. So these could be some really prominent themes for you during this next phase of your career and your finances. Um, and the next thing that I want to do here is I want to um, do a little something new. And what I want to do here is I want to do some like a mini crystal divination. And what we're going to do is we are going to get we're going to randomly. Sorry, this is just my tea leaf fortune box, but I put a bunch of crystals in here. Um, we've got a variety of these little mini crystals, tumbled stones. Um, you can find some of these tumbled stones in my shop at modernmusecrystals.com if you're interested. Um, but we're going to get a crystal divination. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, randomly select a crystal for you. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, look at this book. And it's called The Pocket Book of Stones. We'll flip to the meaning and that'll give you some more messages in terms of what's next in your finances and career. All right. So let's get you, what else does pile one need to know about what's next in their finances and career? Okay, let's get this focused. We got clear quartz. Oh my goodness. <laughs> clear quartz. Okay, we got clear quartz for you. And clear quartz, I'm gonna leave it somewhere that you can see. Let's see, what does clear quartz represent? We found it, okay. So we have clear quartz here and it says keywords, programmability, uh, magnification of ambient energies, clearing, cleansing, healing, memory. Um, and. I'm just looking at the emotional healing here and it says can be used to intensify feelings or heal the emotional body um, spiritually it enhances one's clarity aids communication with spirit guides okay so i'm thinking that clear quartz is going to be really powerful for you to work with um, in terms of manifesting your goals and your financial goals your career goals um i really do feel like Clear quartz always brings me clarity. I love to work with it and I like to pair it with other crystals so that I can amplify that energy. So like we have a bunch of clear quartz um, points from the shop here and say I wanted to pair it with amethyst, right? Amethyst is for relaxing, soothing the emotions. So this is going to amplify that relaxing and soothing of the emotions. So that's kind of like one way to start working with crystals, specifically clear quartz, because you've got clear quartz. Um, and now I want to dive in to your tea leaf fortune cards. Okay. So what else does Pile One need to know about their career and finances? What's next? Okay. We have broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. We have sun, happiness, and well-being. Um, let's see, let's just put this here. And then we have camel, persevere, and you, were, you will overcome problems. Ooh, so the way I'm reading this right now is like a past, um, present, future reading. Like I do that with the tarot cards. And I really do feel like in the past you went through something that really made you feel broken we talked about earlier, maybe feeling like defeated in terms of our career and finances in the past. Maybe we didn't feel like we could find any solutions to the problems that we had, um, but we sat with it. We kept going, we kept moving on. And now you have the opportunity in your career and finances to experience happiness and well. Okay, my apologies. My camera actually died and I had to go recharge it. So I'm wondering if some of you guys have been feeling energetically burnt out or like you might need a recharge or a reset. Um, but yeah, I just thought that might be a little message for some of you out there. Um, but what I was saying before the camera had died out was that um, now that you're moving past that, you're going to be coming up on a period of sunshine, of happiness and well-being. And, you know, if you continue down this path, 
you will head into, um, you know, a time where you will persevere and overcome your problems. So this is all really great news pile one. Thank you so much. I do hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's pick a card reading and you would like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and please comment below with what pile you chose. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description. And until next time, please take care of yourself. Have the most beautiful day or night, whatever time you're watching. And I will see you later. Bye everyone. Hi pile two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Luna Soul Tarot or the Pyrite Crystal, then you are in the right spot. And I just want to make a quick announcement before we dive into your reading. If you have been watching my readings and you want to go deeper, I do offer personal readings. These readings are perfect if you want to get a more personalized experience with me and get some answers to your specific questions. So the link to book a reading with me is in the description of this video. Now let's dive in to your pick a card reading on what's next in your finances and your career. Okay, so the first card that I want to talk about here is the Nine of Cups. So what's next in your finances and career is fulfillment and satisfaction and abundance, which are all really exciting things to look forward to. The Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card or the wish come true card. Um, and it also represents things like happiness, um, like being satisfied. Um, so with all of this energy here, I do feel like you're headed towards success in your career and your finances. You're about to achieve something that is going to make you feel really proud and really proud that you did it on your own. So I feel like, I don't know if you guys have seen that TikTok video. It's kind of supposed to be like a humorous video, but it's this one where that guy was like, ah, he's like, not only did you do it, but you did it with no instructions. Like it, the guy who says it is way more funny and says it way more in a hilarious way than I could ever do it. But yeah, if you're, if you're on TikTok and you watch funny videos, um, it was just really funny. This guy was like, yeah, like kind of like just trying to gas you up, right? He's like, yeah, like not only did you do it, but you did that. I don't know if he said you did that shit with no instructions or I don't know. It was funny. But anyway, that's the five that I get here. Um, and I just feel like you had to figure out a lot of stuff on your own. You really had to like, I don't know, go in like full researcher mode and just go in full like experimentation mode. And I feel like you really had to kind of do a lot of trial and error to get where you are today. So um, I do feel like the universe really wants you to be super proud of that. Um, and if you look at the card, and I can actually bring up the, the card a little bit closer so we can see. Okay. So here on the Nine of Cups, we'll see here that the person on the card looks really comfortable. Um, and with that being said, you know, in terms of your career and your finances, I do feel like it's going to feel a lot more comfortable as well. You know, like maybe you're going to be finding more financial security during this time. And yeah, like, don't get me wrong, the journey probably wasn't all rainbows and sunshine for you, right? It came with lessons and experiences and ups and downs. And I do feel like your work is finally going to be recognized in some way. Like maybe people finally start to like the work that you shared. I'm not saying they didn't like it all along, but maybe they're starting to discover you and you're, you're getting a lot of positive feedback on your work. Um, you know, maybe your boss gives you a raise for the hard work that you've been putting in. But yeah, maybe maybe you make employee of the month or your YouTube channel starts taking off, right? If you are a creator here. Um, I just really do feel like you're going to get the recognition that you deserve. And I also feel like the work that you're going to be doing is going to feel really like emotionally satisfying and like emotionally fulfilling as well. Next card that I want to talk about here is the Seven of Cups. So what you can look forward to is receiving more opportunities, um, choices, possibilities in your career and finances. You might be um, entertaining the idea of working in different jobs or making money in different ways. This is really the energy of like daydreaming and fantasizing about different possibilities. Like, you know, for example, like what would it be like if I went back to school or what would it be like if I left, you know, my job for one with a shorter commute home or better pay or 
you know, less pay, but I get more time with my children, you know, like I feel like you might be kind of entertaining different ideas or possibilities. Um, maybe for those of you who are parents, maybe, you know, you're kind of entertaining the idea of like, how can I make money while still being able to stay home with my children while they're young? That was definitely one of my, um, you know, ideas that I was entertaining, I would say like five years ago. And um, yeah, it's kind of amazing to look back and realize that I've been self-employed for this long and I have been able to create um, a life where I could be with my children first and still, um, you know, earn an income that supports me and my family and um, as far as me doing my part, my contribution here financially with the family. So yeah, it, it's definitely possible if that's something that you guys are working towards. Um, and I really do feel like your ability to use your imagination and get creative with your solutions is going to be huge here. Um, life purpose could be a really big theme for you during this time. Like I'm getting that you could be wondering what else is out there for you. And I feel like these choices, they could be overwhelming to you at times, but it's okay. Like take your time and vet out each, each option or choice before rushing off to make a decision like I feel like the energy of sleeping on it is it could be really helpful so yeah here's some helpful questions to help you take the next step forward like I like to ask myself like which choices feel viable and doable um which choices feel more like wishful thinking or like an illusion right um how can I separate you know what's grounded in reality versus what's real you know what's not um, I would go ahead and maybe make a pros and cons list for each choice if you need, but I do feel like when you get the seven of cups, the main idea here is to not get stuck in the fantasizing and to take action on something. So yeah, there's really just no right or wrong decision and really only the next step forward on your path. You know, I'm really hearing like that all roads lead to home. So it's just about taking the next step. Um, and then as far as the radish card here, I do feel like this next um, season of your finances and career is going to feel really stable, really grounded. Um, this is a root vegetable, so um, I feel like, you know, it's, it could be representative of your finances and your career being very steady, stable, um, nourishing to you, being able to provide for you and your loved ones. Um, and let's read what's on the back of this card. Okay, so it says, And the secret garden bloomed and bloomed, and every morning revealed new miracles. Um, and that says Francis Hodgson Burnett. So, yeah, um, I was just thinking about this. I don't know if some of you have been working on a project or a creative passion or something behind the scenes. Um, maybe even planting the seeds on something, like one of your goals behind the scenes. And I really do feel like this is your sign to keep going. Don't stop. This um, project or whatever it is that you're going to work on, it's really going to bring really fruitful and bountiful um, rewards and you'll be able to have a big harvest. So keep going. I really do think that is the message here with the radish card. Um, keep blooming, keep going. I think it's almost like I'm just, I'm visualizing like, you know, when you plant a tree, right? And the intention is for it to grow into a big, large tree. And with that, you know, from above ground, we're not able to see the roots taking place and the growth that's happening, you know, under the earth, AKA behind the scenes. But man, when that tree sprouts and when it keeps growing and growing and growing, I mean, think about like all of the trees like that have been there, like the ancient trees that have been there and like the redwoods or like, um, there's probably so many other places with like, you know, hundreds of thousands of year old trees. Um, and I'm just thinking that like, whatever you're working towards pile one, you're working, oops, <laughs> I called you pile one. There could be a message for you in pile one if you may have been drawn to that pile, the one with the Dalmatian Jasper in it. So check it out if you feel drawn to that pile too. Um, but pile two, I really do feel like you are on the verge of creating something spectacular and miraculous. And so, you know, it's, um, 
it's a life work it's a life's work um it's a season not a race is that is that what it is anyway that's kind of what i'm getting with this um okay so the next card that i want to pop in here is the honorable warrior and so we have Mars energy here, and the mantra says, I take a stand for positive change. Yeah, so with this card, I do feel like what's next in your career and your finances is you advocating for something, um, you know, whether that be a creative project, um, the underdog, yourself, those you love, right? I feel like this is a huge, like, I just feel like you're going to be in the energy of advocating. Um, and I really feel like you're going to be on a mission to change the world in a really positive way because you do have this really very like courageous energy about you pile too. And I do feel like you're a pioneer in the area of change and helping others make necessary changes for their lives. Um, of course, when they're ready to. So you may find yourself taking action and maybe leading some initiatives and acts that will benefit like the greater good, right? of the community maybe like i really am getting the energy of like a social justice warrior um so i'm curious pile two what do you stand for um and what don't you stand for um and let's dive into some of the words down here some of the um kind of uh, characteristics that can describe some of the special talents and skills that you bring to the table in terms of your finances and career so it says brave courageous strong, passionate, bold, hardworking, territorial, athletic, competitive, decisive, heroic, loyal, disciplined, action driven. So yeah, those are some um, of your special talents or skills that'll help you in the area of your career and finances. Um, and I want to talk more about the energy of Mars because it's represented on this card. So you could see themes, um, you know, in the next phase of your career and your finances that do revolve around some of the, some of the things that Mars represents. So Mars represents things like desire, being assertive, um, taking action, leadership, you know, energy, um, passion, change, drive, those things. So those could be some pretty prominent themes for you in terms of what's next in your finances and career. Um, and then right here we do have the full moon in Gemini and it says embrace the flow of life. So yeah, I do feel like um, you're going to step into your more receptive and feminine energy during this next phase. I feel like some of you might have been like doing, doing, doing or going, going, going at work kind of busy taking care of all of the details. And now it's time to sit back and allow the flow of the universe to take care of things. So yeah, I think this comes as your reminder that it is safe for you to go ahead and trust that things will expand in your favor. Um, I'm not sure if some people in this pile find that they may end up talking more when they're nervous, like kind of like nervous chatter. Um, if this is you, it's okay to give yourself permission to just like be like on the receiving end of information and not needing to have to carry the weight of the conversation all of the time. Um, you know, and for those of you who have been wanting to connect with someone or share your ideas with someone, maybe tell somebody how you've been feeling, um, maybe resolving something with someone, it's going to come. Um, and it's going to come as only as quick as you learn to like let go or loosen your grip, kind of like have more faith. Um, I really do feel like this card comes as a reminder that what's yours will never miss you. So we don't always have to be in the position of pushing forward all the time. And it really is okay to allow yourself to, you know, hypothetically plop yourself in, um, like, you know, plop yourself in the hypothetical inner tube and float down the lazy river of life, right? I mean, um, I hope that makes sense. But anyway, um, yeah, so the moon in Gemini, the full moon in Gemini, it could be a significant time for you and your career and your finances. This happens when the sun is in Sagittarius and the moon is in Gemini. Um, so this time, let's see, it's going to be the end of November through the almost end of December. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then we also have the, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Um, when this card comes up, I really think of it as a confirmation that you are absolutely on the right track 
and exactly where you need to be on the journey at this moment in time. So if this time is feeling rough for some of you or, you know, just know that this chapter is a part of your story. And I mean, come on, every really good story has some pretty crazy, like, plot twists, right? So, um, yeah, almost you're like, your life is like a movie, like, it's spectacular, it's, you know, full of many chapters, many rich chapters, and beautiful, beautiful outcomes. So just trust. Um, cause I do feel like this pile, you know, some of you may be prone to ruminating or overthinking things and really think that this is your reminder that you don't have to question things all of the time, uh, because you're doing a great job and the universe is very proud of you. And many of you are paving a path that not many have traveled on before. And I really feel like this card is reminding you to keep going in the direction that your heart is leading you in. I think you're also being asked to have more patience with your career and your finances, not to rush things. You know, I think it's like age old saying of like good things can't be rushed. Um, you're here for the long haul and your success is inevitable. So if you've been doing your part, you've been planting the seeds, um, you know, following inspired guidance, divine guidance, um, as well as your own inner guidance, then it's time for you to go ahead and just trust. Trust that there is a divine plan out there for you, laid out for you, um, and everything is always working out for you and always in your favor. Um, and that's the message with this card. It's actually really in interesting. I saw a post on Instagram earlier today. Um, if you aren't following me on Instagram, you can at naomicourtney.co, naomicourtney.co. Um, I am active, I would, I would say more often, more often, eh. YouTube and Instagram are pretty up and up. That's where I hang out the most. Um, but I saw this post on Instagram and I, it was just like this, um, almost like this, uh, kind of like symbolic comparison of what, like, how the universe, like when it feels like the universe is closing doors on us or blocking our paths on certain things or not allowing certain things to happen for us. Um, it's almost like the idea of like an owner, like a dog owner or a pet owner, like looking out for their pet and like, say you are, um, eating something that they can't eat. Like, okay, you're eating like a couple bars of chocolate or something, right? And your dog comes up to you and like was whining and really wants that bar of chocolate. And you know, you feel so bad for him because he really, really wants it. And you know for a fact that it's not good for him. In fact, it's kind of toxic for him or her or them. Um, and so it's almost like, you know, of course you have to withhold the chocolate because you can't, you're not gonna give your dog something that um, isn't good for, for them. And it's kind of like that with the universe too, you know? It's almost like the universe is like the dog. I, I'm not saying the universe owns us, but you, you get, you catch my drift. Like the universe is our like loving, like companion who's just like looking out for us and like doesn't want us to like experience like the worst, right? And sometimes we do go through it, but sometimes the universe is trying to protect us from things. So I think that message is coming through strong. Like if you feel like something's been taken away from you or blocked or, you know, something like that, um, you never know what the universe is protecting you from. So, yeah. Um, and this is a reminder to just stay focused also on like cultivating and caring for your own garden. Um, avoid comparison or thinking that things should always be happening faster than they really are. And I always say that like right now we live in like this microwave expectation of a society where like we expect instant results and you know, like, let's talk about it. Like, not all instant results are great results, right? Like, I was thinking about, like, YouTube versus TikTok. Like, and I'm not trying to say one platform is better than the other, but, of course, we all have our own preferences and opinions. But I'm just thinking, like, right? Like, for the, for the YouTube creator that, like, puts out that long-form piece of content and spends, like, days, weeks, you know, months on creating a video... Um, that they pour their heart and soul to. And I'm not saying that like people on TikTok don't pour their heart and soul into things. They absolutely do. They're beautiful creators on there. But, you know, like, do you want to just like have, just put a post out there just to put it out there to have it go viral? Or do you want to like actually put your art, like your artwork or your creative work out there to really reach others and touch their hearts and, and make a change, right? 
I really do feel like you're doing this for a deeper purpose and you're in it for the long haul. So yeah. Okay. And then down here we have, um, ancestors. We've got the polar bear card. So when you get this card, it means that your ancestors are absolutely with you. Um, they're guiding you, they're protecting you on this journey in your career and in your finances. And I do feel like ancient powerful energy is behind you and really supporting you here. Um, a lot of you have natural gifts, talents, abilities that your ancestors had. You might be a great cook like your grandmother or grandfather. Maybe you have intuitive or clairvoyant gifts like your great grandmother, right? Maybe you have excellent negotiation skills like your mother. Maybe you're handy AF like your dad, right? Maybe you're very charismatic like your aunt or maybe you have a radical sense of humor like another family member of yours, right? Um, I also get that you might feel more connected to your ancestors when you're outside in nature. I'm really feeling like some of you see signs, symbols, synchronicities that you know are loving messages from your ancestors. Um, you know, examples of angel numbers would be like 111, 222, 333, 1111, 1212, all the vibes, you know. Um, if, By the way, P.S., if you do need help interpreting the meaning of these numbers, I do have a free guide in the description of this video. Um, and it'll help you just determine what the meaning of the angel numbers are in real time when you see them. But I'm thinking about like the whole, okay, like think about how Pocahontas like spoke with, if you've seen Pocahontas before, the Disney movie, um, how Pocahontas spoke with Grandmother Willow or how she communicated with the wind um, and let it guide her. I really do feel like you have a very similar, similar connection. You are very highly connected to nature, really deep empath energy here as well. Um, and another message for those of you who have kids or who plan on having kids in the future, your kids will also carry some of these ancestral gifts and talents. So a lot of you who already have kids, you have very intuitive kids and this is such a gift and they're gonna be so lucky to have a caregiver or a parent like you that will honor this gift and nurture it. Um, I do also feel like this is going to be a time where you release the not so positive things that have been traveling through your ancestral line as well. So whether that's, you know, breaking the generational cycle of addiction or substance abuse, maybe it's ending cycles of poverty, maybe it's ending cycles of narcissistic behavior, maybe it's finally setting boundaries, right? A lot of you are going to be the first in your family to heal generational trauma, and this is going to lead a new way for the rest of your ancestral line to come. So yeah, another message with this card is that you're going to be surrounding yourself with people who feel like family at work or family may be stepping in to support you in some way. Maybe they're going to help you with childcare. Maybe they're going to help you financially. Um, or maybe it means that you're literally going to be working with a family member or working in a family business, um, kind of continuing your family's legacy in a certain workspace. Um, so yes, next I want to dive into your mini crystals divination. Um, so this is the tea leaf fortune card box, but I put a bunch of crystals in here and what I'm going to do is kind of mix them around and pull a crystal for you. And then we're going to tap into, um, where did I put my book? I have a, like a dictionary, like a crystal dictionary, and we're going to get some, um, kind of crystal divination messages for you. Okay. Oh, here it is. The book of pockets or the pocket book of stones. So we'll pull from this box and then we'll get your message out of this book. Okay. So what else does pile two need to know in terms of their career and finances? I am closing my eyes. You just can't see it on the camera. Okay. Okay. So this one is a piece of ocean jasper and let's look up the meaning of ocean jasper. If I can't find ocean jasper in here, I'll just read you the meaning of jasper. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'm not seeing ocean jasper in here. So I'm going to look it up real quick for you and um, I'm going to pop right back in. Okay. So I looked up the spiritual healing benefits of ocean jasper and this 
information comes from energymuse.com and it talks about ocean jasper. It says you need ocean jasper if you've been kind of putting your needs on layaway, if you feel like you've been pushing your needs to the side or you've been neglecting yourself. Um, it's a good stone to use when you've really been making everybody else but yourself a priority, right? When you need to make yourself a priority. Um, and it's just a really good stone to help you get present and, you know, take some time out for yourself. Um, it's a very, it's a stone that has a very gentle energy and it, um, it helps you. It's a heart opening stone. And it does help you to bring in more love, happiness, joy. So it's a very positive energy, um, that comes with ocean Jasper. So the next thing I want to do is pull some tea leaf fortune cards for you all. Um, let's get information on more information on what's next in your career and finances. So what's next for pile two? We'll get a couple. Okay. All right. So we have older man, we have Ram and we have, um, and aggress okay we'll talk about all of these so this is older man dealings or relationship with an older man this is ram a stubborn aggressive person and this is dagger fear worries or tense situations Ooh, interesting and also we had mars energy i'm wondering if at work i don't know if you work with an older man um or if there's like an older man at work who has more of that like stubborn aggressive energy one that makes you feel like tense or kind of like on edge um, maybe, I don't know if you, if you work with this person, if you don't, maybe this person like comes into your work or it's a client of yours. Um, it could be a family member, um, a colleague, somebody that you know that, um, I don't know, it just makes you feel like your energetic and emotional boundaries, maybe even your physical boundaries aren't being respected. So the message that's coming through strongly here, for those of you who this resonates with, um, it's your reminder to go ahead and set boundaries, especially with people who are being like aggressive towards you. That's not necessary, nor is it respectful. You don't have to tolerate that. Um, so just make sure that you're looking out for your well-being, giving yourself self-care, set boundaries um, with people who don't know how to control their own energy. And um, yeah, let's um, let's get. I want to pull a little bit more. Let's see what else is would be important for you to know. Okay, and then this one says dogs getting together with friends. You could, um, you could actually, I don't know if some of you are in the market for a support animal, but that could be something that resonates for some of you. And then for some of you, I really do feel like your friends, um, are people that are really going to be people who feel like family. So like your family, right? I feel like you're going to be really feeling supported by friendships. Um, it's going to be a really nice time to get together with friends or your community, um, people that you love. So, um, and you could make some like really good work or business connections that way too. So yeah, those are all the messages that I have for you today, pile two. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's pick a card reading and you'd like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below with what pile you chose. And if you're interested in getting a personal reading, I have a link for you in the description. and You can book your personal reading there. Until next time, I hope that you have a fabulous day. Take care of yourself and I will see you next time. Bye pile two. Hi Pile 3, if you chose the Modern Witch Tarot deck or the Picasso Jasper, then you are in the right spot. And just a quick announcement, if you've been watching my readings and you want to go deeper, I do offer personal readings. They're perfect for you if you've been wanting to get a more personalized experience with me and get a reading that answers your specific questions. So to book a reading with me, the link is in the description of this video. Now let's dive into your pick a card all about what's next in your finances and career. Okay, so the first card that I want to talk about here is the Nine of Swords. So I feel like some of you may have been through an experience or um, a time where you were filled with worry or fear, 
Maybe you've had some sleepless nights. Uh, maybe you've been kind of like having your mind consumed with negative thoughts or anxiety around your career and your finances. Um, and I think with what's being fed to us about the current state of the world, the economy, and all of the things, it can also really lead us to feel pretty downright worried and doubtful um, about, you know, our ability to provide for ourselves and our loved ones. So I don't know if your mind felt like it was racing, kind of playing out all of the worst case scenarios, but um, you know, it is, I just want to acknowledge that it is painful to feel this and it's not easy. And I also want to give you some major kudos and some major finger snaps, you know, for hanging in there and, and not giving up, um, you know, to allow your, your grit and your resilience to build up through you during difficult times instead of letting it break you down completely. Um, I really do feel like maybe you're going to allow yourself to sit with and process your emotions and you know even when they feel heavy um because yeah i think the universe just wants to remind you how proud it is of you for navigating these rough waters um and you know without avoiding it or without numbing it out um i do feel like this is the energy of like i've been through this before and i can make it through once again and the interesting thing is when we have been in the trenches and when we've been feeling like we're in the dark for a while you can almost begin to like befriend fear or neutralize it. It's kind of like that energy of like, nothing can scare me anymore. I've seen it all, you know? So I feel like you're going to come out stronger than ever as a result of what you've been through. Um, just a reminder though, if you've been feeling hopeless or isolated or deep in the pit of grief, just remember that you can allow yourself to receive, um, support in some way. So you can, um, you know, counseling, therapy, coaching, you know, lean into your faith if that's something that resonates with you. Um, I just feel like with this card, a healthy outlet for you to express your feelings and everything that you've been through is going to be really helpful. And even if it's just a journal that you can write in safely, it could be really helpful. Um, we do have the hermit card here. Um, and so with that, I think what's next in your career and finances is you being on this like inner search for the self, right? Maybe on the search for your life's purpose. I do feel like, you know, with everything that you've went through in the past, you could have been through a huge spiritual awakening, um, and up leveling and consciousness. I do feel like you're on your way to gain a lot of spiritual knowledge during this next phase of your career and your finances. Um, and some of you may find yourself to have the opportunity to work for yourself or to be self-employed or to be an independent contractor in, in some way, like a way to work in a more individual way, you know, maybe that's, um, one-on-one -on -one clients too, is what I'm hearing. But, um, I see here we have the books card and there's like a purple flower and a butterfly. So a couple things here. The first thing I see with the books is that um, you may be actually stepping into a role where you're going to be like guiding somebody else. Um, you know, maybe you are going to be teaching someone, educating someone, coaching someone. Um, I do feel like there are people that, you know, are on a very similar journey as you. And I feel like, you know, if they're just a couple steps behind you providing your wisdom and your teachings and your insights to them, it's really, really going to be helpful for them. And it's really valuable. Um, with the purple flower here, when I see purple, I think of intuition. Um, and I think about um, the crown chakra or the crown chakra. And, you know, that's where all of our divinely inspired ideas come from. So I really do feel like maybe what's next for you in your career and your finances is that you're going to be um, almost like intuiting the next steps, right? So it may not look very logical. You know, you could be kind of like wandering off the, um, the beaten path, you know? I, I feel like you're going to be planting seeds and I feel like this is like seeds of wisdom or seeds of consciousness. I do feel like you're going to help others like up level or awaken themselves in some way. And really, um, when I see this butterfly here, um, I see it as representing transformation. So you may be a guide to others and helping them, um, transform and to evolve their life in some way, maybe to help others going through a big life change. But here on the back of the 
um, on the back of the card it says if you have a garden and a library you have everything you need so that really makes me think that this is a reminder to you that you actually have everything you need within you to be successful in your career and your finances um, I do feel like you have a wealth of knowledge within you as well as you have this very like almost like this beautiful like aesthetic like gentle part of you that needs to be expressed like i really do feel an artist energy here whether you're a dancer or whether you are a traditional artist a painter um, maybe you're a writer um maybe you're a filmmaker maybe you're a content creator um you know maybe you consider yourself an artist in the way that you cook you know and create your meals um yeah and then I want to dive into the visionary card here. So it says Jupiter. And the mantra here says, the world is filled with possibilities. So yeah, this is really cool. I actually do feel like you're going to be manifesting new opportunities that are going to flow into your life um, in ways that are more magical than you could have ever expected. Um, Jupiter, the planet, it represents things like blessings and abundance and success and expansion, um, luck, travel, you know, influence, wealth. So these could be really big themes for you during this time of your career and your finances. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I also do feel like you're going to help others to like turn on the light bulb, you know, or like kind of like illuminate or awaken them to what's possible for them like you might be a guiding light um to others like i mentioned earlier you're very intuitive and you have the ability to see things from many different perspectives and that's what a visionary does so i do feel like one of your purposes in life um you know and i feel like we can have more than one purpose or many but one of your purposes is to help uplift humanity here on the planet in some way um, you know, maybe you're a yoga instructor. I'm just getting like, no matter what it is, what are, whatever career field that you're going to go into, you have the energy of a light worker, you know? So I do feel like you're going to help uplift people no matter what work, um, or job that you have. So yeah, I really do think you're going to be inspiring people with the way that you think. I really have, I really think that you have this unique way of thinking. You're a free thinker. Um, and I do feel like you have a natural talent um, in being an advisor, um, a mentor, a counselor, a teacher, um, or a guide in some way. Um, I do feel like you are highly valued um, and just because you are you, but I feel like you also got some extra magic here. So yeah. Okay, let's talk about some words to describe the special talents or skills that will help you in the area of your career and finances next. So it says inventive, expansive, wise, insightful, enthusiastic, curious, courageous, philanthropic, imaginative, knowledgeable, conceptual, and inspired. Yeah, um, it also says idealistic, benevolent, and humble. Okay, let's dive in to the full moon in Cancer card. This one says, let your fears dissolve. So yeah, you're also going to be able to work through your fears by facing them during this time. So yeah, what makes you feel fear in the area of career and finances? I'm like, I'm wondering if there are any maybe like limiting beliefs or thoughts that come up for you. Um, and yeah, feelings, they feel very real to us in the moment. But the one little trick I like to use is I like to ask myself, like, is this actually true? Is this limiting belief actually true? Um, and it, it never is, right? Um, even though the feelings feel extremely real to us, we can kind of meet that feeling and thought with compassion and with a little bit of distance and um, just recognize them for what they are, just the limiting belief or a thought and try our best to move forward. Um, I don't know if there's people in this pile who experience like social anxiety or generalized anxiety. I feel like um, during this next phase of your career, you are going to be facing the fear and like doing it anyway. I feel like you're going to be blown away with how well you've handled it all and like how healing it was to face those fears head on. I feel like it's the energy of like, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, or it was actually just fine in the end. 
Um, for those of you who have felt like hiding in their shell when you feel up for it, you know, I do feel like this is a reminder to try putting out small doses of sharing your work or letting yourself be seen. Um, I also, you know, I don't feel like you have to navigate this alone. So please reach out for support if you choose to, or if you've been someone who's struggling with something like this, um, you don't have to do it all alone. You don't have to carry it all by yourself. Um, and with that, I want to talk about the boundaries card here. So it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? So with this card, I do feel like you're being asked to set and maintain boundaries in your career and your finances. Um, I'm wondering, like, does anyone cross your boundaries at work? Um, do you feel like you cross your own boundaries at work? Do you do way too much overtime? Um, do you say yes to things you should be saying no to? Um, yeah, are you prone to overgiving and taking care of everyone else's needs, but, you know, not taking care of yourself? I feel like this pile has big time empath energy. Um, if you want to find out more about empaths, you can check out the link in the description to find out what type of empath you are. Um, and you can also check out this video I made on how to tell if you're an empath or a highly sensitive person or HSP. Um, I'll link that up in the cards here. It'll also be in the description. But yeah, I am feeling like, you know, you're very intuitive and I feel like some of you are very clear sentient. So that talks about clear feeling. So if you want to know more about the clairs, the intuitive abilities, um, check out my podcast, the That's Deep podcast to, if you would like to, um, to hear more about the clairs and how to identify your intuitive gifts. Um, it's linked in the description of this video. The podcast is linked in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, I just want to come back to it and just come back to this and say that, you know, like ask yourself, how does your gut feel about things? Trust it. That's always like a nice little, um, tool that you can keep in your tool bag. It's nice to balance the logical, rational, um, things with, you know, intuitive, um, and heart-based decisions as well. Okay, now let's dive into the meerkat card. It says responsibility. So this is a confirmation that it's time for you to take inventory of the responsibilities that you're carrying right now. Um, a great question is, what's mine to carry and what isn't? Um, let's pull this card up a little closer for you guys so you can see there is a meerkat and he's got... Um, a community around him, but he's standing tall. He is standing in a position of leadership. He, she, they, them, right? Okay. And I do feel like, um, yeah, I just really feel like the energy of leadership and you being a leader with this pile, um, with great leadership comes great responsibility. The question here is, Will you be willing to step up to the plate? I feel like at this point in your career, you might feel like you have a responsibility to your greater community and the planet as well. Um, you know, some big time humanitarian energy is here. So I do feel like you are going to be watching out for and protecting others um, when it comes to this phase of your life that we're talking about. And this could be a more social time for you in your work and the way that you earn income as well. Um, I really feel like it's the energy of like teamwork makes the dream work here. Okay, so next I want to dive into your mini crystals divination. Um, I have a bunch of tumbled stones in here and I'm going to close my eyes, give it um, a little mix in here and I'm going to pick out um, a, a crystal for you intuitively and then we're going to um, get some meaning behind what messages that crystal has for you in terms of what it represents for um, like spiritual healing benefits, emotional healing benefits, and so on. So, okay, closing my eyes, giving it a shuffle. What does pile three need to know about what's next in their career and their finances? So, okay, we have the seafoam calcite. So I went ahead and I went and looked up the meaning of this crystal. And this crystal is actually great for those who want to get some more balance in their mind, body, and spirit, um, as well as in their heart. It's also a great stone if you need um, to foster more like enthusiastic energy, 
Um, and it's a great stone to work with if you're trying to work through limiting beliefs, like through letting go limiting beliefs, old habits, old patterns that don't serve you, um, so that you can move into new and clean and better opportunity, uh, new territory for yourself. So yeah, this is definitely a confirmation to um, keep working through those limiting beliefs for sure. And what's funny is that um, this is a throat chakra as well as a heart chakra stone. And um, as I'm speaking now, like I feel like I'm like getting choked up a little bit. So I don't know um, if you guys um, would resonate with like doing some throat chakra healing, beautiful ways to heal your throat chakra, which is the seat of our communication and speaking our truth and um, speaking up for our needs. Um, a great way to what to do, a great way to work on healing this chakra or energy center is to work on speaking your truth. Journal out how you truly feel. Tell others, you know, the truth about how you really feel. Um, don't run away from conflict, right? Um, express your creativity, express yourself, express your authenticity, right? So yes, that is the message that comes from the seafoam calcite. I forgot to mention that um, all of the crystals that you see here today are from my crystal shop. You can check it out at modernmusecrystals.com. Next, I want to dive into um, your tea leaf fortune cards. I want to get more information on what's next for your finances and your career. We'll get a couple of cards here. What's next for pile three in their finances and their career. Okay, so let's talk about your tea leaf fortune cards. Okay, so the first card that we have here is tortoise. So it says slowly but surely getting ahead. We have mountain that says major challenge to overcome. And um, we have diamond and it says you'll be receiving a precious Oh, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Very, very interesting, Pile 3. So I do feel like there is, like, this big, like, I don't know, something about this pile. I'm telling you, like, you guys are giving me, like, artist vibes. You're giving me, like, creative, like, just big-time creative energy. This is the pile of, um, creatives for sure. Um... So what is it that you've been working on? I don't know if like you've been working on something behind the scenes too, because the hermit can represent doing things in like isolation, like retreating, um, turning inwards to oneself. So I don't know. I just feel like you've been like working on something behind the scenes or you've been wanting to work on something really badly. Your heart keeps calling you towards something. Um, and maybe you view this project or this goal as such a really big mountain to overcome or like a huge thing. Maybe you're unsure if you can accomplish it. But just know, like, in the end, you're going to be receiving or giving a precious gift. Sweet results do await for you in the end. So very, very exciting news, Pile 3. Thank you so much. That's all the messages that I have for you today. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's Pick a Card reading and you'd like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment below with what pile you chose. Um, if you are interested in booking a personal reading, I do have a link for that in the description. Um, and then I just wanted to share that I also do make handmade crystal bracelets. So um, for any of you who want to um, have one of these made for you by me, um, link is in the description for my crystal shop or you can visit at modernmusecrystals.com. Anyway, have a beautiful, beautiful day, Pile 3. I appreciate you. Thank you for being with me all the way until the end of this reading, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye, Pile 3. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the Light Seer's Tarot deck and the Serpentine Crystal, then you are in the right spot. And just a quick announcement. If you have been loving my pick a card readings and you'd like to get a more personalized experience with me doing a reading for you that answers your specific questions, then you can book a personal reading with me at the link in the description of this video. Now let's dive into your pick a card reading all about what's next in your finances and career. Okay, so the first card that I want to talk about here is the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, um, you know, first off, I do feel like some of you may have been feeling discontent with work, um, you know, whether this looks like boredom or apathy, maybe feeling like you're not making any progress in some way. 
Um, and some of you may be feeling like you're growing distant at work, like something needs to change. Um, so I'm curious, where have you been feeling like stuck or stagnant with work or with your finances? Um, maybe some of you have received work or offers to make money that you just weren't too enthused about. Um, maybe you've been feeling distracted with the way that you've been feeling and maybe it makes it like hard to see the beautiful opportunities and blessings that are right in front of you. Um, like if you look at this girl here, she's just like sitting there and um, she doesn't like she's being offered like something beautiful and she's just kind of distracted. She's um, uninterested, apathetic, you know, um, and I know like one of the most annoying things to hear, like when you're feeling this way is to be grateful. And I'm definitely not going to just I'm not going to tell you that, um, but I am going to let you in on a little magic tip that I've been using for a while. So gratitude, like the practice of it, can actually be used as a tool for manifestation. Um, and a perfect example of how this works is in the book called Thank and Grow Rich. I mention this on my channel all of the time. I'll link it for you in the description of this video as well. Um, but it's an excellent book that talks about the power of gratitude. Um, and it invites you to look at it in a new way, maybe a new way that you've never done it before. So yeah, I feel like if you can use the practice of gratitude to help elevate the way you feel, then it ultimately benefits and boosts your manifestation abilities and skills. I know for some of you skeptics out there, it might sound it might sound like a crock of shit, but you know, if this if I I was a cynic in the past and um, I gave it a shot and I was pleasantly surprised. So just a little um, tip or tool for you. And, you know, I just want to talk about, like, you know, when you're feeling this way, when you're feeling um, bored or discontent or, you know, something like that, it can be really tough, like, as a feeling to sit with. But the good news is when we feel this way, it invites us to ask ourselves, then what do we really, truly desire? Or what do we truly want? Um, you know, when we feel this way, it actually, like, helps us process and bring more clarity about what we actually desire, right? And with that being said, I wanna talk about the Hierophant. So um, we do have the number five here, or which signifies change, right? It symbolizes change, divinely inspired change, um, necessary changes. So changes could be happening in your finances and career, and these changes are ultimately for your highest and best good. Um, with, the, with the Hierophant here, um, what's next in your career is that you might be tapping into a more conventional method to earn an income. Um, examples for some of you might include like, you know, maybe you work in an institution, maybe you work um, in a job that has to do with like ceremonies, you know, I don't know if like you'd be like a wedding coordinator, a wedding photographer, or a officiant or something like that. Um, you know, maybe you work in a school, maybe you're a teacher, elementary teacher, middle school teacher, high school teacher, university or college professor, right? Um, maybe you just work somewhere in within that institution, you know? Um, maybe you work for some sort of community or, you know, organization, nonprofit, something like that. Um, but a specific message for some is that maybe you'll find yourself thinking about, um, kind of diving back into your studies, whether this looks like going back to school or picking up a new book, right? Um, I just feel like you're going to be educating yourself and gaining deeper knowledge in some way. Um, a message for those of you who are self-employed or not following a traditional career path, this would be your sign to tap into using processes and methods that are um, tried and true at work, right? So like well-established systems and methods. Um, some of you may either be receiving a mentor or actually you might be a mentor to someone in the workplace and or with your finances during this period of your time, uh, this, during this next phase of your career in finances. Um, I also do feel like you're going to be gaining very valuable knowledge during this time. Um, and it's going to benefit your career, you know, like I feel like you're just yeah, going to be building knowledge like you would in a school. And this is going to be a time when group work and collaboration and working with your colleagues, it's all going to be a huge benefit and success. I also do feel like you're going to feel a bit more conventional and conservative when it comes to your finances during this time. And that's perfectly fine. I think like there's um, a big movement right now to, to save, right? To, of course, like 
spend with joy and spend on what you need, but like also save and like get comfortable with like building up a reserve for something that you want in the future or for a rainy day, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. You could be like keeping your money in a really amazing institution, like a bank or investing it in some way that's responsible. Maybe you're going to be working with a financial advisor to help you set up like your finances for success in the future. Um, yeah, the next card that I want to talk about here is um, the Bleeding Heart flower card. So this is a Bleeding Heart flower. Um, and what this represents is things like love and passion. So those could be some big themes for you um, in terms of what's next in your career and your finances. You may be tapping into work that you truly love and that you're truly passionate about. Um, it also symbolizes romance and, and dedicated love and, and healing your heart, right? So um, on the back of this card, it says, love is the poetry of the senses. And I'm totally going to butcher this, but I don't know if this says like Honoré del Balzac, del, de Balzac, um, you know, we are trying here. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know. That's interesting. For some of you, maybe you're going to be diving into poetry. Um, I think that some of you, this has been like a, a, a talent that you've had, and I don't know if you've shared it with the world yet, but um, yeah, poetry could be a beautiful route for you in terms of what's next, and maybe it's a way for you to make income in some way. Um, but once again, I do feel like the emphasis here is you are going to be doing work that you love. Um, and even if this is not um, related to like the regular work that you do to earn an income, um, this could be like a nice little side hustle. I mean, it could very well be your primary income, but I do feel like it could start off as like a side hustle. And once it gets building and once it, once the results kind of snowball into something really positive, I do feel like you're able to take the next step after that. So yeah. Okay. The next card that we have here is the engineer, Mars. So the mantra here says, every problem has a solution. So I do feel like part of your purpose is to make the world a better place. I feel like you're here to help shift things and help make like necessary changes. Um, I'm hearing like paving the path for a better way. Yeah, I do feel like you're really skilled at like problem solving and you have this really cool way about thinking or a you have a really cool way of thinking about things. And I really think that your mind is very beautiful and curious and explorative. Um, and I think this is what makes you magnetic when it comes to your work. So yeah, I think this is a confirmation that you were meant to be a leader when it comes to your work. Um, we got some words down here to describe your special talents and your skills that will help you in the area of your career and your finances. So these words include curious, um, productive, technical, hardworking, focused, creative, competent, practical, competitive, decisive, determined, analytical, adventurous, and loyal, and generous. So yeah, those are all natural skills and abilities that you have within you that may help you to elevate that next phase of your career and finances. And so the next card that I want to jump into here is the first quarter moon in Capricorn. So this one says, unleash your kindest self. So some of you in this pile, I'm feeling like you might be prone to perfectionism. I feel like this pile, like, I don't know if you guys are really hard on yourself, but I feel like with this card, it's a reminder to start showing yourself some love and compassion. Um, because sometimes when we're overly strict with ourselves or like way too disciplined, we can actually block ourselves from experiencing the joy and the abundant feelings that are helpful when it comes to manifesting more abundance and love and success and joy, right? So I do feel like you can both be responsible and still have fun. And there's really no like need to let life feel like the joy is being completely sucked out of everything that you're doing just for the sake of duty. So really, this is your sign to start mixing some of that realistic side of you with that dreamer side within you, you know? I do feel like this is like your sign to go out and play, go have some fun. Um, you know, ask yourself, what can I do to kind of throttle and activate my joy today? Um, another thing that I'm feeling with this card is solar plexus chakra or chakra healing. Um, I do feel like this will come during this period of time too. So... 
yeah, I, I do feel like like it's going to almost like work on healing that sense of confidence and inner courage within you. And then as far as a significant time for your career and your finances, um, you know, the first quarter moon in Capricorn could be a significant time. So the first quarter moon in Capricorn could be a significant time for you in terms of your finances and your career. So let's see, what is this? This happens when the sun is in Libra and when the moon is in Capricorn. So like the end of September to the almost end of October. Yes. Okay. And then let's jump into the Akasha or Akasha card. Um, it says your guidance is divinely guided. Um, and I really think that this represents you living out a part of your soul's journey in your career. Um, you know, and this is your sign to keep going. Like you're on the right track um, in terms of your work and your purpose. And even if you don't really feel like you're fully living out your purpose, you could be planting seeds that will bloom in the future. So pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities that you see, um, messages from the universe in animals, um, angel numbers, repeating numbers. Um, if you need help um, interpreting these numbers, these repeating numbers, angel numbers that you see, 111, 222, 1111, I have a free guide. Um, it's linked for you in the description and it'll help you interpret these angel numbers when you see them in real time. So yes. Um, but yeah, I do really feel like the overall message for this card right here is to, to allow yourself to receive more support, both in the spiritual and the physical realm. I really do feel like you have ancestors and angels and guides looking after you um, and looking after um, your well-being in terms of your finances and your career. So yes. And then down here we have the red crowned crane and it says loyalty. So for some of you, I don't know if you've been seeing cranes, egrets, those kind of messages from the universe. Um, and for those of you who haven't, this message is still going to be relevant for you. It does represent um, you finding more loyalty in the workplace. Loyal friends, loyal customers. Trust is going to be a theme for you during this time. So it might look like you taking inventory of who, who you can trust, affirming to yourself that you can trust yourself. I also feel like your clients or customers really trust you and know that you're a great person to work with. Um, I also feel like your finances are going to feel a lot more stable during this time. I feel like the word longevity is here. Um, and yeah, I just really feel like you're going to build a really solid and stable and long-term foundation for your career and your finances. So yes, let's dive in and do a little bit of a mini crystal divination. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull a tumbled stone from the box. I'm going to close my eyes, intuitively pick a stone for you, and then we're going to look up the meaning or dive into the meaning of the specific crystal. Um, and it'll give you more messages about what's next in your finances and your career. So, <clears throat> all right, closing my eyes, picking a stone. What is next in pile four's career and finances? Okay, so you got the Amazonite crystal. And let me hold it up a little bit closer. One second. Let's go ahead and look up the meaning and see if we can get any messages um, for Amazonite. Okay. Okay, Amazonite. So we, oh, I'm sorry. This is the pocketbook of stones. So this is by Robert Simmons and um, Amazonite. Okay, so it says key words, truth, communication, and harmony. The chakras that it's associated with or the chakras that it's associated with is the heart and the throat. So really speaking what's on your heart, really speaking what's on, um, speaking your truth, self-advocating for yourself. I really do feel like um, <clears throat> this is gonna be a great stone for you to work with. Um, of course, I want to mention that any of the crystals that you see here today, um, if you do want to get your hands on any of them, I do have them in my crystal shop at modernmusecrystals.com if you feel like checking it out. But let's get into some more messages here. It says, emotionally, it facilitates releasing fear of judgment or conflict, finding inner freedom. 
Um, and spiritually it says receiving and communicating higher knowledge or speaking truth. Yes, confirmed. So I really do feel like you are going to be allowing yourself to be seen. I really do feel like this pile could be a pile of um, people who are empaths or highly sensitive people. And if you need more information on empaths and or highly sensitive people, be sure to check out my podcast, the That's Deep podcast. Um, I have my podcast linked in the description. And I've also linked a card um, up in the description for you as well that will go over what an empath is. But okay, I want to dive into your tea leaf cards. Let's get some messages real quick. What else does Pile 4 need to know in terms of the next phase of their career and their finances? Okay, so we've got Tiger. We've got Do... Oh, more cards trying to creep in here. Okay, it says doing something risky, taking a chance. It says boat, money, or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. And it says kite, vacation. So what's next in your career and your finances is that you might be taking the leap on something that you've really wanted to initiate or get started with. I do feel like these results will really be fruitful. It will bring abundance, especially financially. And it could even fuel your vacation fund. So... Yeah, I do feel like really exciting times are coming for you. That's all the messages that I have for you, Pile 4. I do hope that this re reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's Pick a Card and you would like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment below with what pile you chose. If you want to book a personal reading, you can book one in the description of this video. And until next time, take care, have a beautiful day, and thank you so much for being here with me. Bye, Pile 4!